Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I bring you today's word for June 26, 2014. The title of today's message is Stick to It As Long As You Live. I'm talking about your purpose, your divine purpose, what you've been called to do. God wants you to stick to it as long as you live. If you're still breathing, then God is not through with you. We're in the series right now on growing in grace as we grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, I started a passage yesterday in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 12 through 15. We started to walk through that passage. Let's go back to that passage this morning. The Apostle Peter said, Because the stakes are so high, even though you're up to date on all this truth and practice it inside and out, I'm not going to let up for a minute in calling you to attention before it. This post to which I have been assigned, keeping you alert with frequent reminders, I'm sticking to it as long as I live. I know that I'm to die soon. The master has made it quite clear to me. And so I'm especially eager to have all this down in black and white so that after I die, you'll have it for a ready reference. The apostle Peter was focused on his assignment until the day he died. I want to focus in on this statement. This is the post to which I've been assigned, keeping you alert with frequent reminders, and I'm sticking to it. As long as I live, as long as I'm here on the earth, I'm going to keep to my divine assignment. So what does this mean to you today? Well, I have four things. Number one, God has given you the grace for whatever he's called you to do. You may not be called to do what Peter was called to do or Paul was called to do, but you're called to do what you're called to do. So you have the grace to do whatever you're called to do. Operating in the grace of God is all about submitting to God's will. God has called us all to do something, but he will not compete with us for the lead position in our lives. If we want to take the lead, then God will sit back. He'll go ahead. He'll let us take the lead and he will stand by as we do all the work in our own strength. I'm a testimony. I've, I've been there. However, that's not God's will. God wants us to rest in the grace we have for our divine assignment. Now, if we choose to submit to God's plan and to rest in his calling, then we can rest while God does all the work through us. While God will actually literally work, operate through us, we become the, con the conduit, the channel, the vehicle through which his power can flow here in the earth. So what's your choice? Do you want to work while God rests? Or do you want to enter into God's rest and let God perform the work through you? Like all things, the choice is yours. Number two, Peter knew what he was called to do. Peter said, this is the post to which I've been assigned, keeping you alert with frequent reminders. Peter knew he was called to reach people, to write God's word and to leave a legacy of righteousness. He wanted to, to make the mark on this world that he was supposed to make and he was committed to doing it by the grace of God. Peter knew his calling and it was his singular focus until the day he died. So my question for you is, do you know your calling? Do you know why you were born? If you don't, then listen, just ask God. He brought you here. He will tell you why. Number three, Peter operated in his grace for the assignment. I believe God has a sense of humor. God called Paul the most educated apostle in the law of Moses to preach the gospel to the Gentiles, people who didn't know anything about the law at all. Then God called Peter, an uneducated man who was a fisherman by trade, to preach the gospel to the most learned men of his time. This caused both Peter and Paul to rely on the grace of God. I don't know what you're called to do, but it is more than likely something that you never thought you would be doing and probably something you don't feel qualified for. That's how God does it. When God calls you to do something you don't feel prepared to do, it causes you to rely on him and his unearned grace. Number four, and finally, Peter was committed to completing his assignment before he died. Peter said this of his divine assignment, I'm sticking to it as long as I live. So let me let you in on a secret. Listen, listen, maybe you don't know this, but there's no retirement plan for the believer. You can't really retire from your calling. Whatever you're called to do, God expects you to do it until it's done. God expects you to do it while you're in the land of the living. He doesn't even want you to leave the planet until it's done. He doesn't want you to die because you're sick. 
God doesn't want you to die because you're old. God wants you to fulfill your assignment in life. And so this way you can only die because you're done <laughs> and for no other reason. This way you can die complete and satisfied and without any regrets. See, to me, success is not about what you drive or where you live or how much money you make. Success is simple to me. Success is about finding, following, and finishing your purpose before you die. If you do that, then you're a success in God's eyes. You can go to God. Jesus was only 33 when he died. I mean, so are we to say that he had an incomplete life? No. He was completely successful because he did what he was supposed to do. And when he was done, he was gone. And so that's, what, that's the way that we're supposed to live. Committed to our divine assignment and do it until we die. And we could die then because we're done. <laughs> so let's close this out with a confession of faith. Say, Father... I thank you for making plans for me before the world began. You saved me and called me by your unearned and amazing grace. The assignment you have given me is far greater than anything that I could ever accomplish on my own. The nature and scope of my assignment caused me to totally rely on you and your grace. There was a time in my life when I did all the work and when you were resting, waiting for me to get tired. Well, those days are over. I now rest as you work through me. I labor to enter into your rest and I no longer live my life based on my own strength. I have received your divine assignment. I'm committed to pursuing it all the days of my life. And I believe you will grace me to get it done before I die. I don't want to die because I'm sick. I don't want to die because I'm old. I don't want to die because I'm tired. I only want to die after I'm done. Therefore, I commit to pursuing my purpose all the days of my life. And when I get to the end, by your grace, I will know it. And I will be able to transition from earth to glory, from time to eternity, from mortal to immortality, with a sense of accomplishment and with overwhelming peace. I'm going to stick to it until I die. In Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. You have a blessed day. God bless you.